so hello this is my new filming space i did it the day after i filmed the video you're about to see and that is it all part two of re of reviewing all my books in 30 seconds well actually it's 15 seconds or less because to make it more challenging do you like my makeup i'm not sure how i feel about it okay some books they upgraded lots of books actually and i'm realizing how much i used to love historical fiction like that was my go-to interesting isn't it how we change <laughs> this is who was Walt Disney, and it's this really easy read with pictures in it of this of Walt disney it's really interesting i like it and i recommend it i used to love who was books i don't really read historical fiction it is to the point which is a story about E.B. E. White who wrote Stuart Little, um, Charlotte Swift, and Trumpet of the Storm, some of which happened to be in my video, which you may call it. And um, second Julia guy to Lucy Clark, I read this for school. I really liked it. It's about second Julia who she was the person who led um, Lewis and Clark in, in their expedition. I really liked it. It was really pretty interesting. And yeah, this is Gladdy Always, um, one of the books in the Christian Heroes has been now a series and it's the first one I read. I really liked it when my mom read it to me. It was super good. I really recommend this series. And it's about this missionary and her name's Gladys Owens. So this is, um, Heroes of History. This is um, like a companion series to the Christian Heroes and this is George Washington Carver and I love George Washington Carver. This is the book that led me to my love to him and I love this guy. He this thing. So this is the um, Childhood of Famous American series. I'm holding up here because I was going to do them individually but I changed my mind and they're just about these famous people about their childhood and it's really interesting and I love this series. I think they're cool. Uh, really learned a lot. From it. So this is the Haste Travel series. I'm going to be doing book four on its own because I think it deserves it. But it's about this doll and she's like telling the story of historical events. So this is the Silver War and it's about this girl and this um so her slave so becoming friends and this is the Gold Rush and that and this is book four is about this girl and she's really rich and she gets this doll and she takes it and then she drops it on her vacation and then on the way back we see it through um this immigrant's view and it's really cool to see like the girl range of the differences next is the i survived series this is i actually didn't read that one but this is um the tsunami one and i find them really interesting and really cool to read and to see these events they're really cool and i really like them and yeah and stuff blah 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 this is Lizzie and the Redcoats, and this is from the Revolutionary War point of view, and it's really cool. So she's a patriot, and it's about a girl, and how she's living with it, and she actually falls in love with Redcoat, and it's really interesting and really cool. And this is one of my favorites, so it's funny. This book is trapped. It's um, the story of the Donner Party, and it's really cool. I read it after I read How to Read Stall. It's an amazing story, and I really liked it. This is A Brighter Tomorrow, um, this is in one of the American Girls, it's a choose your own story, which I find really interesting, and we, it's this girl, and you choose your own story, and your friends are totally in it, and it's cool, and I like it, and thumbs up. This book is out of this bowl, and it's in diary format, and it's about this girl, and she goes, and she lives in the dust bowl time, and it's about her, and she actually becomes herself, and it's such a good story. And it's fascinating, and I loved it. And this book is Mirror Mirror on the Wall, and it's about this girl, and she's blind, and she's going to a blind school, which I liked. And it's one of, it's the very first Dear America book I read, and I loved this series. It was so interesting and fun to read. This book is Across the Wide and Lonesome Prairie. This is a story in the um or. Dear America series also, and it's on the Oregon Trail. It's one of my favorites, and it's really fascinating. It's about this girl, and she's living on the Oregon Trail, and it's in diary format because it's a Dear America series. This book is Standing in the Light, and it's about this girl in the, and she gets captured by Indians, 
and this is probably my favorite Dear America, and I really liked it, and yeah, thumbs up and all that stuff, and it's one of my favorites. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and like this video, and subscribe, and do all that nice stuff, and if you haven't seen part one, I'll link it down in the description below, and yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, bye, thanks for watching.